This is a single triple spike. How hard can I make it? Now, before I go and just start outlining each individual frame of this, I need to set some ground rules. These are three things that I'm going to make sure to keep aware when trying to do this. First is no Damba buffing. I'm not just going to outline a hitbox trail and make this abomination. I'm going to limit myself to three clicks per frame, and that is actually going to come into play. And lastly, I'm not just going to brute force a ridiculously high FPS. And now with those rules set up, let's get started. I've just measured that this is a 7 frame gap on 60 FPS. And with the addition of this tiny spike, it becomes frame perfect. And now we're going to get to the first part that actually uses ILL tech. This is a hitbox outline of a jump that I have done on 144 FPS. And with how high the jump went, this spike could be cleared. This was another jump that I did on 1440 FPS. And I was able to jump over this spike. And even though this spike is scaled down, the hitbox was still further up, because on higher FPS, you jump a bit higher. And using this fact, I can put a spike here to make it a lot more difficult. And now this jump isn't just impossible on 60, but also 144. And these are the last two spikes I'm going to add just to make the structuring a bit more interesting. This is an outline of the jump on 1000 frames per second. It gets scary close to this spike. Oh, and this one. The next thing I'm going to add is a dash orb. If you saw the minus wave video, then you already have a bit of an understanding of this. You have to click twice to both activate the dash orb and then jump. But this can be made even harder if the dash orb is set to multi-activate. Each time I click, it'll activate the dash orb. And no matter how many times I click, I will never be able to jump. There, however, is one way to get around this, which is to pause the game using Frame Stepper and click not once, but twice in a single frame. This is why I had the no more than three clicks in a frame rule, because otherwise you could just spam a bunch of these layered on top of each other and click a million times in a single frame. And with only three clicks allowed in a frame, I'm probably just going to stack two of these on top of each other, right? Well, not entirely, because there is the pink dash orb. This has the same effect as the green one, but it will switch your gravity after you've let it go. And when this is set to multi-activate, you can go and click it twice, and then be in the same gravity. So what I'm going to do is put a green dash orb on top of a pink dash orb. So in the first frame, you click to activate the green dash orb, and then you click to activate the pink dash orb, which switches your gravity. And then in the second frame, you activate the green dash orb, and then activate the pink dash orb, and then you activate the toggle orb down there, which doesn't do anything, but lets you actually jump. Which means that this jump right here requires five clicks in two frames. The last thing I'm going to do is add some mirror portals, so not only do you have to do an 1000 FPS near frame perfect, you not only have to click six times in two frames to do that frame perfect, but you also have to do it blind. So without further ado, here is the hardest jump that I was able to make without Damba buffing or using a bunch of morbs. I honestly don't know what you expected.